F bomb here. We just got the burritos from Santana, so we're taking them back. F bomb! All right, oh. Santana's. This one on oh. Broadway? You gotta weigh it? Broadway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're all cut and wet. Cut it and weigh it. We don't gotta do any of that, really. <laughs> it's, got, it's got a nice weight to it. It's actually pretty sizable. Not bad. Burrito. She gave us quite a, a bit of salsa. sauce. Yeah. Got a lot of she, salsa. I, I like that. I demanded. More. Well, actually, I didn't. She, I'm pretty sure she's giving us. We got red, we got green, got napkins. How's the service? Good service? Very good. Five, very, very five good. is good. Fast, light, very happy. Okay. Weighs in the same. Mm. Yeah. All right, here we go. Meat's got a very greasy, crispy. Greasy's good. Greasy's good. Good meat. Oh, the red sauce is disgusting. You don't like it? And it's mm -hmm. got a very... Okay. I don't know. Okay. I mean, it's got a very grilled flavor to it. Ooh, mm. a lot of cheese. I ran into a lot of cheese. Not Distribution full. is not good. Yeah. Huge cheese problem. Not fully melted cheese. got my cheese. first bite of pico halfway through. Unmelted right, cheese. Oh, same old cheese. Sauce, right? I'm going to try another one. Oh, I got full cheese. Disgusting. You know, in this Transition into nope, red. So Transition into dry ass green. No sour cream either. Mm. Mm. Uh, green salsa is good. I like the green salsa. I like both the sauces. The green one's got like a tang to it. Mm. Green over red for sure. On this one. Did they have a third kind? Mm -mm. No chipotle? No. A lot of pico. But the pico's not bad in this one. If I had to pick one piece from every burrito and I had to pick the pico that was the best out of one burrito, it'd probably be this pico. Cheese from Lupe's, pico from Santana's. Fries from Cotijas on that one. Oh my god. No, definitely Estrada's fries. Estrada's. Sauce is straight water. Yeah. Sauce? The red sauce mm. really tastes like straight water, bro. Dude, it smells like it even smells like raw fish. It's <laughs> it smells kind of grassy. Chubby. Melted cheese with a boost of this burrito big time. Yeah. Good grease level. It was like partially melted, but not. If I can still see shreds, it's not melted enough. <clears throat> Good grease levels. I like the grease. Yeah. All right, F-bomb here, F -bomb. Santana's in El Cajon. This was a uh, basic burrito. It just had uh, meat, fries, cheese, pico, and a tortilla. Santana's claims to be the home of the California burrito, the original creator. Um, and so that's where the standard comes from. Anyways, I enjoyed it. I thought the fries were okay. Uh, the meat had a very crispy burn greasiness to it. It was pretty good. The pico had a very nice trim, very small dice. I like that. The cheese, though, had a shitty, unmelty, but there was a lot of it. Um, and that was it. So, as far as basics go, this is probably the best basic that I've had. I'd say 67. Santana's in El Cajon. F ball out. <sighs> Burrito Mars here, coming at you live. Today we had Santana's off of Broadway in El Cajon. The burrito itself was decent. Very basic burrito. Uh, consists of fries, meat, pico, and cheese. Uh, the meat was average. Fries, I had a little, uh, a little well done fries. I didn't mind the taste, good flavor. It was okay. My cheese wasn't melted, kind of disappointed. Um, the salsa, not the greatest salsa I've had, but it's not the worst. Uh, green was good, red was a little below average. Um, overall, good basic burrito. I enjoyed it. I'll give this one a 69 for the baddie. Burrito Mars out. Jam here. 
Santana's in El Cajon on Broadway. Um, really greasy burrito. Heavy, a lot of meat. Um, I liked it, though. Uh, for a basic burrito, it's pretty good. Cheese wasn't melted. That could be an improvement. It could melt their cheese. That, but it would have been a lot better with melted cheese. Red salsa was, uh, was all right. Green salsa tasted like Lucas. I, I thought it was pretty good. Um, could have added a little bit of spice to it. But, um... 69 for the baddie. <laughs> Professor Slicko here. Santana's. It's good burrito. Didn't have it, didn't have to muddle it with any of the cheap theatrics of guac and sour cream. Kept it true to the roots. Home of the Cali. Salsas were decent. They didn't have any spice. They could have definitely had spice, but they had some flavor to it. Um, the pico was good. Nice amount, good fry level, that you were able to taste potato in your burrito. You had a good amount of meat, so you got a good meat, potato bite, mixed with the pico to give it the freshness. Wrap this whole thing up, I give this burrito an 83. Luke here. I have to say, Santana's, you can say all you want that you're the home of the burrito, but it doesn't necessarily make you the best. I'd have to say, this burrito did have a lot of meat, fries were okay. Nothing to remember about the sauce. Tortilla was decently well uh, heated and cooked. Nothing really, nothing really important about this burrito. Nothing too good, nothing really too bad. Very basic, no guac, no sour cream, unmelted cheese, very dry. I have to give it a 63. All right, Santana's on, in El Cajon on Broadway. Home of the California Burrito, they're the original creators, but for some reason along the way they lost it and started putting pico in there. Um, the fries were a little burnt, the meat was also a little burnt, a lot of grease, which is good if it's a juicy burrito, but this is like they took some really dry, like overcooked meat and fries and then poured oil onto it just to add the greasiness to it. The sauces sucked. Red tasted like fish sauce, literally smelled like an anchovies can. The green tasted like Lucas. Lucas is great, but it's not what I want in a, in a sauce, that's for sure. With that said, 59 for the baddie. Um, all right, what's the final score? All right, discussion time. 96. 96. 96. It looks like we're all focused around 60, the mid 60s. 68. No, no, no. Or 67. This was a good burrito. It was a good burrito, but it, it's it was not. A good burrito. And, and the, 60s is good. And the 70s is par. It's better than par. So. <clears throat> I got this. No. I mean, if the sauce is up to par, then maybe. I actually, I feel like this might have been better than Rancho Villas, and Rancho Villas got sixty nine. Nah, Rancho Villas was better. The yeah, Rancho Villas lacked good meat. Sauce. Yeah. Chips. Chips. This had a Maddie. good flavor to it. It had a good, it was a good burrito. It did have a good it was flavor. A basic burrito, yes. It was a good burrito. It was lacking. Seventy five. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> If the cheese oh, was melted, I'd say 75. No, that's high still high too high. high. No. I would say 72 if the cheese was melted. 68 right under Rancho Villas. 68. No way this is better than I Rancho gave it a 67, so I'd say 68 is fine. 68 for the baddie. 68 for the baddie. 68 for the baddie. What do you think it should have besides 83? It's not. It's I not. Said 75 is a good call. 75 is too high. You said Lupe's is 75, and Lupe's is way beyond this. No. You admit. In my opinion, we're over the opinions. We're now at the. I think a good compromise for the level of burrito, but this wasn't a burrito, is a 75. It's basically what I'm going to get from this is that if a burrito doesn't have guacamole in it, you guys are not going to give it over a 75. No, no, that's not true. Nah. This is. That's exactly what you guys are saying. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. That makes it way better. <laughs> Look, 60, 69 is really good if we consider 50 to be average. We don't consider 50 to be average. If this I do. burrito had better fries, better salsa, and better meat, 
I would give it a 74. <laughs> I would give it a 78. If the cheese was melted and the sauce was There's good. been a lot with guac and sour cream that barely got in the 70s. This is a good basic burrito. Like but you're that. saying this is the best one without that. The meat... <clears throat> you said that in your own in your own but review. That's you the, the, the problem is the, the way the that I. Guac and sour cream but you don't get you enough. don't get extra points for lacking shit. If I was equidistant Would from you Uber from hell no. If I was equidistant between here, Santana's and La Posa, I would go to Santana's. If Santana's was close to the place I worked, I would consistently eat it for lunch. We don't. I'd say this is on par with Rancho Villa sixty nine for the baddie or. We're way over time. All right, 69 for the baddie. 69 for the baddie. For the baddie. Fine for the baddie, she gets one extra point. 70. Santana's 69 for the baddie. 71. Good night.